guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Have a lot of interesting things to share with you guys in this video. More super cool photos of the daytime sky. You're also going to see a very high altitude object that was spotted in multiple locations. Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and an undisclosed location. But it looks like these people may have seen the same exact object. Have more things to share with you guys coming up. But first, I wanted to touch base on this once in a lifetime event that you guys can possibly see tonight, weather permitting, if the, the skies are clear. I did a video on this about three days ago about a star being born in the northern northeast sky. Well, the event is underway over here at spaceweather.com. They're talking about the event and how it's already started. The star is starting to burst in the east northeastern sky. So again, tonight after sunset, weather permitting, as long as there's no clouds, look in the east northeastern sky, look for a starburst in the area of Corona Borealis above Hercules. Look for Vega. It's a very bright star. And then go up from Vega to the 1-2 o'clock position. You're going to see what looks like a horseshoe in the sky. So if you can find that in the east-northeastern sky, watch just below it. You should see a pulsing star, that's a star being born, a brand new star in the nighttime sky. The once in a lifetime event is underway. Also have more footage of the early twilight as early as 2 a.m. Check this out. Bill Holden from Norwich. This video was taken at 2.59 a.m. when he saw the, the twilight. I don't know if this is astro, nautical, uh, civil twilight, but as you can see, it looked like the sun is getting ready to come up. I have another observation following this one that has narration from 2 a.m. Check this out. As you can see, it's 2 a.m. on the 25th of June. I am in Inverness, Scotland. <clears throat> Look at that. The sun is rising. How about that? Inverness, Scotland, which is in northern Scotland. And as you can clearly see, it is almost daylight at 2 o'clock in the morning. I mean, that gives new meaning to astronomical twilight. And going from Scotland to Kelowna, British Columbia, video sent in by Sheldon Connolly. More examples of the super early twilight. Look at that. Sky's blue at 4.06 in this video. And I have another video also from the same gentleman, Sheldon. And it's basically daylight at 4.15 a.m. Video sent in by Sheldon out of British Columbia. Thank you guys. Great observations. Really appreciate that. Wanted to share with you guys an ongoing going situation over here in the U.S. Power outages in 28 different states. Obviously, some states more than others. Oklahoma leading the way at 67,000 customers. Indiana 56,000. Michigan 44,000. I think parts of Michigan have been without power now for over a week. We're looking at collectively over 300,000 customers including 2,500 up in the state of Washington. 9,000 down in Florida. 1.5K up in Maine. Coast to coast power outages could be from in clement weather. I know we've had a, a series of storms that have gone through the central plains off and on for the last few days, but today it really doesn't look that stormy. I mean, it's kind of clear up in Washington, and you can see a little bit of storm activity in the central plains, but, but overall, it's, it's really not too intense. And I have more photos and videos to share with you guys of the incredible cloud structures that were going through the north central plains, primarily in Ohio and northern Illinois. Brent took this photo out out of Toledo, Ohio on the 25th. I also received video footage from Chicago of this same exact structure from Northern Illinois, Springfield, Ohio, Kula, 625-2024. Here's another extension of that massive shelf cloud that extended for well over 200 miles. Just an incredibly photogenic storm that rolled through yesterday. Today's pretty quiet, but they're still dealing with some power outages in the area. Once again, over 300,000 customers without power across the United States. I want to take you guys real quick to Elsinore, California. Here's yet another example of another rocket launch on the night of June 23rd, 2024, 8.48 p.m. This video was 3 minutes and 45 seconds long, so I condensed it, put it in fast forward. 
forward because we've seen these rocket launches. We see them now pretty much on a, on a weekly basis, but here's another example of a low-to-the-ground rocket launch visible from Elsinore, California. I want to take you guys to various locations east of the, the Mississippi River. We're going to start out in Roanoke, Virginia. I've inserted the original vertical video for presentation purposes so you guys can kind of get an idea of just how high up this object was that was spotted by Maxine. But when I zoomed in on this thing, I'm telling you, this thing put on a show. Check this out. Okay, again, this is the original vertical video, and right there is the object. And it could be a little bit higher. It may be a little bit lower. Without any reference points, it's, it's very difficult to tell. But as I zoomed in on this thing, it looks entirely different than the original vertical video. Maxine Henson noticed this the other night before she went to bed on 625-2024 at 2.20 a.m. She looked out the back door before she went to bed, saw this in the nighttime sky. I zoomed in on it very, very tight, and this is what I saw. Look totally different than the original video. This was some sort of a exotic object moving through the sky, doing all kinds of, of weird maneuvers and changing colors. Had some sort of a unique shape, but it almost looked like the, the shape was changing. Again, this thing was at a pretty high altitude, moving through the, the early morning sky. She saw this at 2.20 a.m., and she said it didn't look like a star as she noticed it moving through the sky. Great video by Maxine out of Roanoke, Virginia. Check this thing out. Here I pause it when it made some sort of bright pulse in the sky like you might see in the east northeastern sky tonight when a new star is born here i zoom in slow it down check this thing out look how it almost looks like it's tumbling i don't know what this thing was doing but this is very unique i've never seen anything quite like this again great catch by by maxine Okay, going from Roanoke to Kentucky. Check this out. This is super bizarre. Okay, Casey has seen a couple of lights above his house that looked out of place now, two in the last week. But this one here has a friend. Check this out. The night of 624, 2024. He's focused in on this one. Watch what happens up here. Totally bizarre. And I'm zoomed in. You're going to see an object come out of nowhere at a very high rate of speed. Check it out. Should be coming up any second now. Watch the top of the screen right there. What was that? <laughs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up. This is the original video. All I did was zoom in. That is all I did. And then when I saw that thing, I had to actually zoom back out a little bit to keep it in the, the footage. And there's another one, too, that appears out of nowhere. He was focused on this one, but like I said, it, it had a friend that, that popped in and out of the field of view. And the other one that appears, I don't know if it's the same one right there. See it? What in the world was going on in the sky above Kentucky on the night of June 24th, 2024? Great observation, Casey. Thanks for sharing. Scott Aldifer also noticed a mysterious light in the nighttime sky, sent in this very short video clip because it didn't last very long. By the time he saw it, it kind of faded away, like right there. So he too saw some sort of a mysterious object in the nighttime sky going to north central Pennsylvania. Jason, June 20th. 26, 2024, he noticed two lights cruising through the sky. I think this was in the early morning sky. You can see one here going in the opposite direction, and you can see one here. This is the one that he was focusing on in the front moving very quietly through the sky. And again, it kind of reminded me of what, what the other folks saw in Kentucky and Roanoke. He spotted this in, in northern Pennsylvania. Some sort of a mysterious light. Obviously, it's not a, a helicopter or an airplane, not making any noise, doesn't have any blinking lights, not a planet or a star. It's, it's moving through the sky horizontally. It appears to be maybe gaining a little bit of altitude, but it's not an airplane. Not quite sure what he saw above northern Pennsylvania, but all in all, very cool observations, guys. Thanks for sharing. Really appreciate that. And don't forget, guys, tonight, be looking in the east-northeastern sky. You can see a star born a once in a lifetime time event in the northeastern sky after sunset thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there